This work actually is one of the most complicated works I've ever made and I think I probably wouldn't have attempted this you know, 15 years ago, because I, I, I probably would have been second guessing myself a lot, but yeah, this feels like actually a little bit of a, a turning point in a way, this piece. I think anybody can sort of come up with something that they think will, I mean, whether it's good or bad, whether it's something that they think will be moving or interesting or transformative in some way, uh, because you sort of, you can, you can envision it in your head and attach emotions to it. So you kind of manifest this thing in your mind. But the reality of actually making something into a physical object is a very different scenario. Or, I mean, that's the challenge. You're trying to like hold this thing steady all the way through the process to try and hold it in line with that vision in your head. The difficulty for me is sometimes it takes so much force to do that and you kind of go a bit mad. You kind of, you wind up at war with the piece because um, yeah, you, you're fighting it. And it, it can, it doesn't, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But if you can keep clear throughout the process, then you have something very special, but sometimes you do lose it. Some people have said that you know I often focus on death and things like that, which I don't know that I do, but I do focus on the perhaps the timeline or the trying to make sense of the um, uh, the process, the, the the cyclic process of life, and and I think unfortunately I'm not a religious person. I sometimes I often wish I was, but I I don't have that, so I tend to try and find some meaning or something, some, some sort of pattern that occurs um, to give me some comfort, I guess. You know, at any point of, in life, there can be difficulty or upheaval. And so you can have someone who's very old, who's full of life and strength, and then you can have a young person who's really suffering and struggling. And it's sort of like, it's no longer clear. You know, my grandmother is 92 and I think she's a, a tremendous source of strength and stability and to sort of break it down, it's like two figures at entirely different stages of life. The, there's no clarity as to which figure is comforting who or which figure is the figure of strength. The ability to uh, forgive and to continue loving despite everything is quite remarkable and I think in in life like um, I've often seen um, you know mothers just they go in to, to battle for a child that's not well and it just it's it's sort of an extraordinary um, connection as well and sort of at any time of life and I think as you get older too if you've got kids it's like it's like you're hardwired for um, for caring <laughs>